day for uh, the brief talk we have after uh, Friday. I've taken an extract from again from Malfuzat Volume 2. This is on page 317. And uh, whoever compiled it has given it the title uh, Two Examples of a True Believer. Moment ki do misale. Quran Sharif mein Allah Ta'ala ne moment ki do misale bhyan farmai hai. In the Holy Quran, God has given two examples of a true believer. Ek misal Firon ki aurat se hai. One example is the wife of Pharaoh. Jo ke is kisam ke khamad se khuda ki pana chati hai. Who seeks God's protection from such a husband. Ye un momino ki misal hai. This is the example of those true believers. Jo nafsani jazbat ke aage gir jate hai aur galtiyan kar bait te hai. Who fall to their, uh, to their wishes or feelings and make mistakes. Par pachtate hai. But they repent. Toba karte hai. They ask forgiveness. Khuda se pana maangte hai. They seek God's refuge. They seek refuge from God. Unka, naf, unka nafs Firon se khamad ki tara unko tang karta hai. Their feelings, their self, just like the Pharaoh as a husband created problems, their self does the same thing for them. Wo log nafs rakte hain. They have nafs e lawama. Badi se bachne ke liye har wakt koshan rehte hain. They are ever uh, struggling to prevent themselves from making a mistake. Dusre moment wo hai yo isse ala darja rakte hain. The other true believers are those who are who have or who possess a higher station. Wo sirf badiyon se hi nahi bachte balke nekiyon ko hasil karte hain. They don't just safeguard themselves from uh, wrongdoing, but they attain to doing good. Unki misal Allah Ta'ala ne Hazrat Maryam se di hai. And God has compared them to Mary, Maryam. And Hazrat Sahib then uh, quotes a verse of the uh, Holy Quran, which is from chapter 66, verse 12. And the Holy Quran says, And Mary, the daughter of uh, Amran, who guarded her chastity, so we breathed into him our inspiration. And she, uh, and she accepted. Hazrat Sahib then says, Har ek moment, jo taqwa wa taharat mein kamal paida kare, wo baruzi taur par mariyam hota hai. Every true believer, who perfects righteousness and purity, he metaphorical is Mary. Or Khuda usme apni roop phuk deta hai. And then God breathes into that true believer his spirit. Jo ke ibn Maryam ban jati hai. And it becomes the son of Mary. Zamakshri Nabi iske yehi maane ki hai. A scholar, a classical scholar called Zamakshri, he has also uh, uh, taken this meaning. Ke ye ayat aam hai. That this, the message of this verse is general. It's not restricted to Mary and son of, uh, 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 and, and, and uh, wife of uh, Pharaoh. Or agar ye mani na kiye jaye, and if we don't take these meanings, to hadith sharif mein aya hai ke Maryam aur ibn Maryam ke sewa me se shaitan se koi mehfuz nahi. Then a saying of the Holy Prophet states that apart from Mary and son of Mary, no one 
has been protected from the touch of Satan. Isse lazam aata hai. So this then means, this makes it compulsory that Nauzubillah, may God forgive us, tamam anbiya par shaitan ka dakhal tha. That all the prophets were touched by uh, the Satan. Pas darasal is ayat mein bhi ishara hai ki har ek moment jo apne tain is kamal ko pohchaye khuda ki roo us mein phoong ki jati hai aur wo ibn Maryam ban jata hai. Thus in this verse it is alluded to the fact that every true believer who takes himself to this pinnacle then God's soul is breathed into him and he becomes the son of Mary. اور اس میں ایک پیشن گوئی ہے کہ اس امت میں ابن مریم پیدا ہوگا and there is a prophecy that in this امہ shall be born the son of Mary تاجب ہے کہ لوگ اپنے بیٹوں کا نام محمد اور عیسیٰ اور موسیٰ اور یعقوب اور عساق اور اسماعیل اور ابراہیم رکھ لیتے ہیں اور اس کو جائز جانتے ہیں it is astonishing that people name their sons محمد and Jesus and Moses and Jacob and Isaac and Ishmael and Abraham and they consider it perfectly lawful but Khuda ke liye jayiz nahi ke wo kisi ka naam Isa ya Ibn Marim rakhte but it's not lawful for God to name someone Jesus or the son of Mary I have read this uh, extract to you because a lot of Sunnis raise an objection against uh, the promised Messiah that uh, he claimed to have become pregnant and then become uh, Ibn Maryam, the son of uh, Maryam. So I wanted to show you that what he said was actually an explanation of these verses of the uh, Holy Quran. So if there is any objection that objection is against Allah who revealed this in the, in the Holy Quran and not against the promised Messiah.